Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about the difference between fantasy and desire. How do you know what to ask for and what not to ask for when you're being intimate in your relationship? But first, here's the show reel. So what is the difference between fantasy and desire? This is really important to determine before you start asking your partner for certain sexual pleasures or intimate pleasures in or out of the bedroom. So fantasy is really defined as something that's more improbable, right? It's something that has no bounds. Like I fantasize about having endless money in my bank account or I fantasize about you know, being off work forever and doing all these fantastic things. Right? Having a million women or men around me, having all the, right? So fantasy leads into places that aren't necessarily probable, but desire, a desire for something that's very intense means that it's something that you could actually do, that you want to do, that feels safe, that feels exciting, right? So fantasies could be something like, Oh, I imagine having sex outside, but you know that you never would because you're afraid of getting caught or getting your name in the paper or something like that, right? Whereas a desire could be that as well, right? Or it could be more about how you want to be touched, maybe a new position, a toy, something like that. So before you start talking to your partner about what you really desire, Take a really strong look at, is this something that you really want? That you would really follow through on that would give you pleasure, that would give your partner pleasure? And if so, think about how to approach it with your partner in a way that's open, that invites him or her or them to make a choice for themselves as well, and work your way into it gradually and slowly. Because if you're really looking to expand your pleasure, and keep your relationship a little more new, a little more exciting, and to have what you really want and what you really need, opening the communication and having both partners agree that there will be no shaming, there'll be no making fun of, even if someone's afraid of the other person's desire, to have that open level of communication of what does that look like? Or I'm not comfortable with that yet. Can we try these things first? Can we work our way up to it? So opening up the lines of communication is gonna be very important to get your wants, your needs, and your desires met. So good luck, stay tuned for more tips, and remember, you are loved, you are loving, and you're lovable, and everything you want and you need is normal. Namaste.